What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start a sublimation sock business at home. Let's get right into it. Let's go on eBay real quick, type in sublimation socks, and you guys will see different socks right here. So these will cost you around a dollar to make. And as you guys can see, this guy sold 12 of these Spider-Mans, four of these Larry Birds. You guys can easily sell these for around $10. So the first thing you guys will need is an Epson WF7710 printer. This printer can easily be converted to a sublimation printer. You guys will need the sublimation ink cartridges and sublimation ink, and you guys will need sublimation paper. Make sure you guys install the sublimation ink and cartridges. This is not gonna work on regular ink. You guys will also need a sock jig. This will cost you around $10. And you guys will need blank sublimation socks. I highly recommend you guys get the thin socks if you want better results. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna print our image. Make sure you guys print it in mirrored mode. Just so you guys know when you print the image, it's not gonna be bright. The image is gonna look faded. That's totally normal. Also, make sure your socks are not longer than your printed image. Now we're gonna put both socks on the sock jig. We're gonna make sure they're the same length. Also, make sure they're flat and take all the creases out. You guys can also pre-press them for around 10 seconds if you want to. We're gonna carefully place our image onto the sock. You guys can also use heat transfer tape if you need to. Now you guys can do both socks at once, but for this example, I'm gonna do one at a time. Now we're gonna take our sublimation paper and put it over the image, and we're gonna press it for around one minute. We're gonna press it at 350 degrees, and the longer you guys hold it, the better quality image is going to be. Now we're going to remove the silicone paper. We're going to remove the sublimation paper. And the first side of the sock is finished. Again, make sure you guys are only using 100% polyester socks. Otherwise, this will not work. So the cool thing about sublimation printing is that this is now part of the material and you cannot wash it off. Now the next step is we're going to take each edge of the sock. We're going to peel it to make sure the other side is not gonna have any white spots. So now we're gonna press the other side, we're gonna do the exact same thing, and press it for one minute. Now we're done. We're gonna carefully remove the silicone paper, remove the sublimation paper, and as you guys can see, our sock is finished. You guys can see there's no blank areas, so the saw came out flawless. Now we're gonna take the saw off the jig, and as you guys can see, the saw came out perfect. The only thing you guys have to do now is to do the second saw, which is the exact same process. One thing I can't stress enough to you guys, that sublimation printing, you have to be very careful about how long you press for. Pressing for even 10 to 20 seconds less can give you inferior results. Take a look at these Steph Curry socks, for example. Look at the one on the left and compare it to the one on the right. The one on the left was pressed for around 10 seconds less than the one on the right. And look how much more faded it looks. One more thing I want to say is that if you guys want to buy custom packaging, you can do it for as much as 25 cents per paper. Simply go on Alibaba.com and get some samples. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.